was relying on his little adding machine, and Margaret was filing for England. Down in London in 1951, something big was being developed. It was brewed up in a most unlikely place, Lyons Corner Tea Shop. Lyons had nearly 200 tea shops scattered through the country. The daily orders for new stock of tea and cakes were all done by pen and paper. Each manageress has a standing order depending on the day of the week. After lunch each day, she considers her stock, weighs up local conditions, and decides what variations, up or down, she will make to her order. Lyons thought the time had come to streamline their business. They hired Ernest Kay, a young electronic engineer, to work on a new project they'd cooked up. They heard about these peculiar machines that were being developed in America called computers uh, and being interested in all the latest developments, they sent a team of people out to the States to find out what this was all about. They returned home brimful of new ideas. Ernest got down to work on building a computer for Lions. It was called LEO, short for Lions Electrical Office. It was a revolutionary idea, and everyone on the team was enormously enthusiastic. I must say, I've never worked so hard in my life. Uh, I spent days and nights uh, designing electronic circuits uh, till they came out of my ears. <laughs> the result was unbelievable. Leo was a gigantic machine. It was colossal. It filled a room. 5,000 square feet. Half the room was taken up by nine-foot-high racks full of electronic equipment. The other half of the room was taken up by the printers and uh, tape readers uh, and also a huge power supply. The machine contained over 6,000 valves. Uh, used to get very hot <laughs> and had to be air-cooled. Lyons used Leo to plow through vast amounts of clerical work, which had been done by hand, such as payroll for their 10,000 staff. It was soon being used for all sorts of other calculations too. Leo worked out the shortest distance by rail from each station to all the other 4,000. This would have taken 50 clerks five years. For the Chancellor, Leo worked out the PAYE tables for 1955 to 56 and printed them off in one night. But although Leo was the world's first business computer, soon others caught on, and eventually it was outgunned by the Americans. We applied at one time to get a government grant to help us develop the computer business. And there was a letter which saying they didn't think there was a future in computers. <laughs> well, Sir Brian, it's lovely to have you here. Nice to be here. May I call you Brian? Certainly. Oh, that's much easier. Well, what do you hope?